Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first of all, I want to apologize that it's kind of dark. Um, I'm filming this right after my last cash stuffing, so it is pretty early in the morning. Um, we are going to be doing the bill switch out, condensing, or that is bill switch out, um, sinking fund update as well as coin challenge update today. So this is my little coin like pouch and it's getting so full, but we are going to do this part at the end of the video, which I think is normally what I always do. But to begin, we are going to go through and count and as well as find the funds that are going to be going to the bank because this is how I get my money to condense the sinking funds. So we always skip the bills. Normally rent gets deposited just to be deposited so I'll take that and we'll start with this. So rent has 50, 70, and 80. So for rent what I do is I keep track of the account that I pay it with. Um, but any money that is saved in here just gets deposited at the end of the month and then I don't care to count that for like the next week if that makes sense. So rent has 80, then um, house savings is not going to be getting deposited, but taxes is for sure. So I'm going to have to get my calculator out for this one. Okay, so based on my little tracker book, taxes last had $26.91. So it has 2,200 in the bank, which means we should have at least 400 going to the bank today. Um, because again, I do deposit in increments of 100 so that it's easier to count when I'm filming my cash stuffings. So taxes has 100, 200, 300, and then 50, 70, 90, and 400. So let's see that again. 50, 70, 90, 400. And then this should be $91, but since it's not a full 100, it's not going to be getting deposited. The lighting is so bad right now. We have um, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and 91. So this money will not be going to the bank because, again, it's not a full 100 but this 400 will, so let's go ahead and place this over here. Hopefully this video doesn't get too messy because I feel like the bills always do. It like never fails, um, but let's go ahead and set this here. And then this is going to be going back into the envelope and we will consolidate it when we start that process. So after taxes, I think the only other fund um, or funds, I guess, that could be deposited our Christmas, actually that's a lot. Christmas doesn't have a savings account. I leave that one in cash, but travel can. So let's find travel. I do deposit that one. So travel has a total of 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and 97. So 197 into travel. But the only thing that would be going is the first 100, so which is going to be the 250s. So we're going to put that here, and then we're going to put this back. And again, this will be consolidated when the time comes. So with that being said, I do think that's going to be all the money we're going to be able to pull, um, which is pretty small because usually I have more than what I did in taxes. Okay, so we're now going to start with the consolidating part. My throat is very scratchy and almost seems like super congested and I literally have no idea why. So please just excuse that. Okay, so the first one that we are going to be starting with is house savings. We have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Cannot be consolidated, unfortunately. But there's 29 in house savings. Then next after that, we have emergency fund, which... This one did go down because, like I mentioned in my cash stuffing, I had to buy a portable AC because my AC went out this past weekend. But we have 300, 320, 330, and then 335. Again, cannot be consolidated. Um, then after emergency fund, we have one case savings. So this one I'll probably leave the same just because there's no point in... Um, making it smaller because it is just a savings challenge. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 85. So $85 in 1K savings. If I do end up needing 20s later, I could just come back to this. But next is a 52-week box. I'm not going to count that one because then I would have to unstuff everything. But it should have, let's see, the 52 box should have 177. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and move on to my sinking funds. So let me just 
get this situated. Okay, so here is my Seeking Fun Finder. We have yet to switch anything out, but hopefully we can switch some stuff out starting here. So, business. Now this one I prefer to not consolidate because I usually need change. Um, but business has 20, 40, 50, and then 55. But for the sake of this video and for some satisfaction, we will just switch it. So there's 55 in business. So next after business, we have car maintenance. It just has 10, so I can't consolidate that. Christmas, this is the fun one. So Christmas has 100, 200, 300, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So $411 is what I just counted. Hopefully that's correct. But I'm gonna double check that this is 100. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So it is, we're gonna go ahead and grab a $100 bill and add that to the stack. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, the coin jar is gonna have to move over just a tad. Okay, so this was 10 ones. And then we're gonna grab a $10 bill. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, and 411 into Christmas. So next after that is going to be decorations. So this one actually may be able to change out. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect, because we can just grab a $20 bill. So I'm gonna put all this down and grab a 20 for decorations. So next is gifts. Um, we'll see about consolidating this one. I don't know. We have 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. So as I figured, we cannot make it smaller. So next is going to be Kira. She is my niece for anybody who may be wondering. We have 50, 55, 60, and then 65. So I'm gonna grab a 10. And that's $65 in Kira's envelope. 65 okay I don't know why I thought oh she did have more but I bought her a shirt from my my college um, because she has like college days at school so next is planner that one just has a $10 bill so school I don't even know what this one has we have 10 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so perfect, we could switch it out again like we did the last one. So a $20 bill even going into my school envelope. Okay, so $20. And then Sims 4 just has 10, so I can't consolidate that. Spending has 20. So travel, this should have $97 to switch out because we took out the 100 to deposit. We have 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. Okay, so first of all, one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna grab a $5 bill. And then we should be able to grab a 50. So 20, 40, 50. So let's do this. So that should be it. We have 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, and 97. So $97 going in back into travel, again with a total of $197. And then WandaVision just has 10. So there's two fives, we're gonna put a 10 in here. And that's all they both have. So let me go ahead and write $10 for their total. So with that being said, that is everything counted up and switched out. So the next thing to do is just add everything up together um, just to get a grand total. I always ask that you guys add with me because I tend to mess up, unfortunately. But we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna speed it up, probably montage it or maybe just cut the whole thing out. But I'll see you guys when I'm done counting. Alrighty, so I just added everything up for my sinking funds and got a grand total of 4204 so let me know if you guys got that as well or if I may have added anything up wrong so what we're gonna go ahead and do is add this into my spread in the front because I have a section where I keep track of all of this so we are in August and went up to 24 or sorry 4204 so let me see this sinking funds 42.04, which amazingly, we made a pretty big jump, if I do say so myself. 
that makes me feel awesome. Don't know. I guess, well, I guess the majority of the jump came from taxes probably, but I am super excited and happy with that number because again, this is just like what's in my sinking funds. Um, and that's not even counting the already present 1000 that I have in emergency fund. At least I don't think so. All these cute stickers. Um, let me see. So emergency fund, we counted the 335. So yeah, that number is not even including the 1000 I already have because I've just been tracking um, what I saved this year. So there's 4204, which is super exciting. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is add all my coins into the jar. This is probably one of my favorite parts too. I always mute it and like speed it up and stuff, but literally just like hearing it is so fun. Okay, so there are all of my coins dumped out. Thank goodness, because now my envelope could have a little bit of time to rest. It's been getting all bent up. But here's all the money that we're going to be adding. We are currently starting at, if I can turn this on, we're starting at 89.68, which is what here, which is what is here. We ended July with that amount. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff the coins. Also, really quickly, for anybody curious, the budget results. It's supposed to be a place that I write like my weekly check-in results, but I've been slacking on the weekly check-ins. I will get back into it now that I have my cash envelopes practically separated again. But anyway, let's just go ahead and stuff the coins and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so now that I have added everything in, we have a total of 96.43. That means like we got about $5-ish out of all the coins that I added, which is actually insane. Um, so 93.46 was our coin challenge amount for the month of August. I love that for all of us. But yeah, so with that being said, that does conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that my voice was like coming in and out. It literally annoyed me too. But with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.